RSVP Maker is a free WordPress plugin you can use to add a calendar of events to your website. You can also promote those events via email or social media so that you bring people in, you can get them to register for events, collect all their information, and collect money via PayPal or Stripe. You can customize the design. Programmers can also extend the functionality as I've done with this Toastmasters meeting role sign up. In this tutorial, I particularly want to cover how you set up a new event. Now, before we take you to the editing screen in WordPress, we ask you to put in the title, the date and time, and some other essential information. I particularly want to focus on the date and time because those have changed. We used to have drop downs for setting the year, month, and day. And based on usability research and my own experience, figured out that it was actually easier to be able to type in this information. You can either type it in in plain text format or in the numeric format that will actually get reported to the database. And the same thing for setting the end time. You can either get enter it as text or in the numeric format and program can converts between the two. Now we might set some of these other options such as making the time zone be displayed and showing a convert to my time zone button. Now we wind up in the WordPress editor where we can edit this just like we would edit a blog post. We can add an image and some additional text And if we change our mind about basics like the date, we can go to the Documents panel or click on that calendar icon for even more options. When we go out to the public website, we have the Show in My Time Zone button working, which is, might be important if this is an online cooking program. And we have the registration down at the bottom. Now another thing we might want to do is set up an event template. Now this is where we have many events that have the same basic details, such as this, this monthly neighborhood association meeting. So instead of putting in a specific date, we're going to put in a schedule, a first Tuesday schedule. We'll still specify date and time. We can still specify other parameters. But the idea is that we're going to create a, a general model, a boilerplate model, for how these events typically run. And then each one can be customized for the specific agenda of that event. So we save this, we get put into a document. And again, on the, the right sidebar under document, you can see that it shows first Tuesday instead of the calendar grid. I'll put in a generic agenda that again we can customize for each event. And when I publish this, I get a little prompt inviting me to create or update events based on this template. So it's going to project out based on first Tuesday what those dates would be. I can check off a couple or check them all off. Add these dates as a batch and then go out and edit any individual one off the list. Now if I just wanted to change the time of a specific event, I can actually go to the quick edit option here, same place where we would change the event title or other basics, and we can change the event start and end dates parameters. We do enter them numerically here, but it also shows you the, the friendlier version as text. So we save that and it's changed. One other option. Now this is to add a batch of events without a template. Now a handy scenario for this is, say you were plotting out an entire conference. So you want to represent each of the sessions within the conference as a different event. On, and I'll show you how that can be useful. So I'm going to take 
some content from a, a boilerplate agenda I found out on the web. And you can think of this as the situation where maybe your marketing department has sent you the information in an email. So they've got all the dates and times figured out, but you're trying to get them into a nice clean database format that you can represent on your website. So I'm going to put in the start time of the event up top here. And the entries for each of the sessions will all be changed to match. So now I can go through, I've got the date already entered, I just need to enter the uh, time and the title for each of the events. Anything without a title will be ignored. But you can put in a title, you can put in your start and end time, and you can also put in a little bit of starter text. So you can't do any fancy editing here, but you can put in the basic event description. So here for the first session in the conference, we'll put in the title and we'll also copy over this text about the specific conference session. We can edit this a little bit here. We'll go through the whole thing. We'll eventually get to entering, changing the date as well, because it's a two day conference. We're going to categorize this as the annual conference and we can choose to save as a draft or to publish right away. Again, we get back a listing of the events that have been added with the option to view or edit any of them individually. We'll add a speaker image and format that. And I'm also going to put in a speaker bio, but I'm going to put it in after the more tag. So the more tag is also used in blog listings where they show the headline, the first couple of paragraphs, maybe an image, and then you click to read more if you're interested in getting all the details. So I'll just put in some placeholder text here. And we're going to set up a page. This is the training program agenda. And I'm going to use the RSVP Maker Schedule block here. Now this is an alternative to the regular calendar grid. And what I'm going to do is filter that to just show events from the annual conference category, the annual conference event type. Listed here, and we can see that the Read More button works. Now suppose that this is an online event, or maybe it's held in person, so that's why there's a breakfast, uh, but people can also attend online if they can't make it in person. So for that, we want to have Show in My Time Zone available here so they can see all the event times in their local time. If we look at this on mobile, it looks pretty good. That image should probably be a thumbnail or should be formatted a little bit differently, uh, but we'll see that functionally, the Show in My Time Zone works, uh, and so does that Read More button. Now, we might want to set up a separate event that is just for the conference registration. Now, this could have a little bit more marketing content here, but it's basically just saying click here to see the full program. Now, then this gets a little bit crowded if we look at it on the calendar grid. But there's a solution for that. We can edit the calendar grid object, this block, and we can say that we're going to exclude this category for the conference sessions. So we want just the registration event to show up in the calendar grid, not all the other individual session events. And so that looks a little bit cleaner. We can invite people in to register for the event and show them just the essential details that they need to be convinced that they ought to attend, but they can see more detail if they want to. Now RSVP Maker is a free plugin. You can get it from the WordPress.org plugin repository. Support is also available on WordPress.org. Customization services available on request.